Uh, hi, Sambit. My name is Pranav, and uh, I'm like 18 years old and coming to Netherlands for my studies in computer science and engineering in the University of Twente. Uh, I'm going to do my bachelor's there, and I have some few questions to ask. So, can I ask? Like, can I begin with my questions? Yeah, uh, just one thing. The you have already got admit in Twente, or you're going to apply for bachelor's? I got like final admission from uh, University of Twente for bachelor's in computer science and engineering, and uh, I got a final admission from TU Eindhoven for electrical engineering. But I am going for computer science and engineering at University ah, okay. of Twente. What do employers generally look for uh, in computer science graduates in Netherlands? What do you think? Uh, yeah, in my based on my master's experience of uh, applying for some jobs because I also applied for some jobs before uh, mm -hmm. applying for the PhD. I mean, I was applying for both because uh, even though you have in your mind that you are going to go in the research line, but still when you spend that much of money dur during masters, then mm -hmm. you, I mean, it depends on that individual. But for me, it was like I always had a backup plan because we are not sure that always you'll end up in a PhD. That's also okay. Depends on many factors. So you should be looking for different ways to somehow get mm -hmm. something to like earn mm -hmm. something because you have already spent that much money in two years expensive mm -hmm. masters. And so we have seen like even if you have zero experience, some mm -hmm. companies have like some competitive companies, not the startups. Some MNCs have like a written mm -hmm. exam called traineeship. Okay. And, uh, okay. But that is, I think, only for masters because for traineeship, the minimum qualification was masters. For bachelors, okay. there was no written exam. Oh. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know completely the scenario of what happens after in bachelors if you apply for okay. jobs without doing masters. But mm -hmm. uh, it's they don't have this written exam that I know for sure. Mm -hmm. So then the interview, I mean, interview, it, it also depends. Like sometimes you have like a one Skype interview. It is also same with PhD and then a programming exam. It depends on the company. Some companies have programming mm -hmm. exam, some don't have it. And then okay. the final round of uh, on campus interview where you have like, uh, yeah, I mean, one at least one HR and one person from that man of technical lead or something like that okay and okay yeah and like and my next question was that uh how much time does it take to do your masters like can you do it in two years like yeah i mean two years is the ideal time and if you plan properly i don't think it's difficult to finish in two years i mean there okay. are many people you will find that they are not able to finish in two years that's mm -hmm. true but uh, whatever i've seen like initially if you come i mean for the masters, then it will take like one or two months to settle down with, to get used to the system because it's not that smooth. I mean, it's very hectic. You need to spend a lot of time. Okay. The education system is a bit, uh, as compared to India, it's a bit on the hectic. But uh, I will do my bachelor's there, so, you know. For yeah, me, that's my the advantage. Like once you do the bachelor's, then you know. Like, But still, if you ask Dutch people also, I know from my personal experience, like <laughs> they say that uh, the masters is even uh not it is not actually tough it's like more demanding of time as compared to bachelor's yes, okay so mm -hmm. it's like because you have like 120 cts you have to complete in two years and you have like oh, okay many daily assignments group projects and these kind of things but mm -hmm. after one or two months if you plan your ects each quarter properly then you can easily finish i mean in my case i was like uh we have to finish 60 CTS in one year and then we have the thesis, but I completed like 75 in one year. So I gave more time for my thesis because I didn't want it to be extended beyond two years. So that's how you can also, it's so flexible. You can okay. uh, like do something good. very fast mm -hmm. and then keep time for some of the hard stuff, which you don't want to like spend time. Okay. I, I understand. Okay. That, yeah. That's, that's really nice information. Sambit. And uh, the next question I had that,